You know what the worst drug to ever hit the human race is? Pity. The moment you feel sorry for yourself, you're hosed. You are totally, completely frozen in potential. We cannot pity ourselves. I've gone through things that I don't wish upon anyone in this room. I've had metal rods pulled out of bone marrow while I was awake. I've had jaw infections where teeth had to be extracted and I can no longer chew my own food. I have to get up every day and be showered and cared for physically by another human being. I get stared at everywhere I go, and the moment people meet me, if they don't know a thing about my resume, they automatically, just by the human nature, think to themselves, oh, it must be so difficult to be that man. If somebody pities me, they're wasting their time. I try hard not to waste energy feeling badly for myself, because when I do, I get stuck in a paradox where there's no room for any happiness or any other emotion. Now, it's not that I ignore when I'm feeling badly. I kind of accept it. I let it in so that I can acknowledge it and do what I need to do to move past it. All in all, I don't waste energy feeling bad for myself. Uh, I surround myself with people that I want to be with, and I keep moving forward. When I was in high school, I found a video, unfortunately, that somebody posted of me labeling me the world's ugliest woman. There were over four million views to this video, eight seconds long, no sound, thousands of comments. My dad's always told us you could have your one good cry, and then you have to pick your chin up, smile, and move on to the positive. I had my one good cry, I smiled, and I said, what great accomplishment is this video going to lead to? So I told myself I'm going to work my butt off and do whatever I could to make myself better. Because in my mind, the best way that I could get back at all those people who made fun of me, who teased me, who called me ugly, who called me a monster, was to make myself better and to show them, you know what? Tell me those negative things, I'm gonna turn them around and I'm gonna use them as a ladder to climb up to my goals. That's what I did. I was born to rid this world of insecurity because when a human being is insecure, they do stupid stuff. When we feel like we're not enough, we chase external validation and external objects to try to tell us we're enough. You are enough. I'll tell you, I made a pledge as a therapist to love all human beings no matter what they've done. Because deep down inside, I found that every human being just wants to be loved. You know who they want the love from the most? Not their moms, not their dads. They want to be able to look in the mirror and love themselves. And if you can figure that out, then you're going somewhere. But you cannot feel sorry for yourself.